good afternoon good evening guys and welcome to another video diamond trader today guys we're going to look at holdings company alpine for technologies so let's get right into it so guys uh, let's get into it let's have a look um Firstly, normally I would actually talk about the company and then look at the financials uh, at the end to, to give you a feel of where we're going. But I think today I'm going to do it the other way around. We're, we're going to go and have a look at the financials, uh, look at the uh, what the numbers look like, you know, let you decide. Bear in mind, this is a penny stock. This is a, a small cup company okay, that's come up from the ground slowly and slowly over the, over the last uh, few months. Uh, I bought in around about $2.20, uh, I think it was. In fact, if we have a look, we go straight down onto the trading 212 app. Go to history. Have a look. Uh, so, yeah, bought in at $2.74 it was. Okay, so $2.74. Uh, $2.74. Price has actually increased recently. Uh, I sent out some news on the Discord group uh, about this company that they're they're going to be rising in price. Uh, so I managed to dollar cost average up, and so yeah, so we've got a nice uh, a nice return at the moment. Okay, so it was up to 100% return on uh, the other day, and it's come back down to 60%. I think it is now. So so yeah, so let's have a look at the numbers in a way. Let's go straight into the numbers. Uh, let's get straight to the point. Uh, numbers are not great. But we expect this from a penny stock, right? Uh, we see revenue that's increasing. This is good. Bear in mind, this is 2019. Uh, using Trading212, guys, is not a great place to look and do your due diligence on the financial. It gives you an idea of the numbers. gives you an idea of the the healthiness of a company, let's say, in terms of their financial position. just gives you an idea. Is it all right? Revenue is increasing. Profit margins are decreasing, which is okay, but they're still in the negatives, which means they're burning they're burning cash. So there's nothing there. So in that sense, I sort of think, right, okay, that's normal for a penny store. So that's the alarming thing. First of all, we need to look at. Cash flow again. Cash flow is not great. Great, they're in the negative. Okay, so they're they're burning cash. Um, so again, that's not a great thing. So we need to have a look at this in a little bit more detail. Before we do that, and because we're on the right hand side of this page now, we can see on the side of the the actual price that is at the moment. Uh, so yeah, so the prices are up at seven point zero eight um, dollars. There was a rise, and then we've had most recently we've just had a a, a dip. Which makes it a great, great, great point to get in. Makes a very good point to get in right now, actually. Having said that, this week could be an interesting week. In fact, this month, because there will be something that is quite promising, and it's a, got something to do with the Nasdaq. Okay, so they're actually fired to be listed on the Nasdaq. So we need to keep our eyes on that because this could make the price uh, go sky high. Okay, so this is what we're looking out for as a catalyst in the very near future. So guys, uh, so this is the, the 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 app, or should I say, the the website that I use. That is a great, uh, great, great tool. Uh, highly recommended it. Recommend it to give you a view of the company. Okay, give you a view, an overall view. And uh, financial wise, valuation wise, uh, management, ownership. Uh, so, yeah, so don't always rely on looking at trading 212. And also, I would say the same about Yahoo Finance. Yahoo Finance also does have a lot of misleading information. So, uh, I'm not saying one is better than the other. You need to be, be make, making sure that you're looking at all these uh, resources that you have to to dive into to look at the numbers to see how they how they're looking so now we, we can look at 2020 so if you looked on trading 212 we didn't have 2020 but now on this one for example we have the, the most recent results that uh, go up into the third quarter of 2020 as we can see on the graph so we have a look revenue we know that revenue has continued to increase Incre increase actually quite well nearly exponentially exponentially uh, in 2020 uh, so really good revenue in terms of revenue good okay this is good uh, this is good to see earnings negative so again the net profit 
profit margin has been low and then if we have a look at the free cash flow which is the pink one again we're burning cash here we're burning a lot of cash here and that's the sort of thing that's worrying so in fact this is actually what actually most recently sparked off my interest well recently when i bought it back in december this is on december the 21st uh, in fact i bought it on on december the 20 23rd i think it was a few days later uh, this is what spoke my interest dgi dgi is one of the what i say it is i uh, don't know what to tell you but dgi is one of the most uh, common and most uh, available and most uh, um seeked by uh, drone companies in in the world okay you'll see a lot of people using dgi uh, if you're not uh, available of that that's a big company that's been blacklisted okay so that's blacklisted by the u.s government so the basic they've said right okay dji you're not coming in we'll take you off the stock market that's it you're not coming in so this opens a big door for the american market so this is where alpine 4 technologies come in and in fact this is where we saw the big increase on price okay so uh, i'm just going to read this little part to you so you're aware uh, the department of commerce added drone manufacturer dgi to the tentative list of chinese companies prohibited from the procurement of advanced american technology dji represents 70 80 percent of the commercial drone market creating vast opportunities for american drone companies like alpines for impossible aerospace so Alpine 4 is a holdings company, okay, uh, there's a holdings company, they actually have four uh, subsidiaries, should we say, they have one called A4 Technology, okay, which includes uh, includes the aerospace and VAYU, we'll have a look at VAYU in a minute, they have one called Manufacturing Services, okay, so this is for circuit assemblies, then they have the constru a construction service, and then finally they have a corporate uh, surface, uh, service. So I'm not going to go into detail on each one, but I would like to go into detail or a little more depth on A4 Technology. A4 Technology has four subsidiaries. So we have a look at the first one. This one's quite impressive. This is actually a, a brake active product uh, for rear end collisions. So basically it's a, an assistant uh, to avoiding having a, an accident on the road. And uh, this is good because they actually have two paintings on this one okay so the the brake active it's called uh, the name of the product has two approved patents for its microservice technology so this is technology uh, at its best and they can do a lot with this okay a lot a hell of a lot if we have a look at the second one let's go into the second one and we have spectrum uh, spectrum of boss my pronunciation is getting worse as i speak and this one is a an enterprise business operating system that combines key software components that maximize efficiency and visibility leading to increased productivity spectrum's tether management reporting and collaborative tool sets so progress is to follow spectrum is embedded into a robust blockchain ledger system and it offers security necessarily when handling high sensitive data and documents okay so again very very interesting and uh, a market that is uh, has a lot of potential if we go into the third one then we're going to the third one and this is probably the most interesting one to a lot of people most recent which is the drone industry okay so let's have a look this was found in 2016 by a former tesla engineer spencer gore so this is good this is very good the company unveiled its uh, us one aircraft graft in 2018 unique for its long endurance and u.s origin okay so this is a, a unmanned aircraft or a, a drone they have that is has the one of the best technologies there is in the market mm, this is quite interesting so he was a former tesla uh, engineer so there could be some uh, some help some connections there in the future i would imagine i say no more so the last one of this group of this subsidiary is probably this one which actually has caught the most attention most recently and we'll see why so again it's a, a drone uh, a drone uh, electric gas hybrid and it's actually caught so much attention that it's actually breaking records so let's have a look at these records uh, that is breaking so most recently uh their subsidiary one we just mentioned 
uh, announces today that Vayu, so the guys, this was dated actually, when was this? This was not so long ago, this was last week, on the 5th of February it was, sorry. Um, announced today that Vayu, one of its drone subscribers, is making a run at a world record for drone flight distance using its autonomous delivery G1 vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. So yeah, a lot of exp a lot of exposure on there. This could this is getting a lot of tension. This is really quite promising if this works out quite well. So it's also important to realize that they have a, a, a culture, they have a business model, which is called Driver Stabilizing Facilitators, DSF as they call it, uh, and that's their model. So drivers, what are drivers? They have, that's how they look at their companies. So they look at to drive them, to stabilize them, or to facil facilitate them. So drivers are exciting new companies for them with large upside potential for market share and revenue generation. So that's their way of looking at a driver. So they're a holdings company, they categorize their company three, their subsidiaries into these models. Then they look at stabilizers and they say stabilize a company with sticky customers, consistent revenue and solid net profits. Okay, and then they have their facilitators, which are companies with synerg uh, synergistic relevance to the other portfolio companies and whose product and or service give a sister company a competitive advantage. So the model is quite nice. I like their model and it's uh, it's appealing. So if we actually go down and have a look, uh, he goes on. Uh, sorry, when I say he, um, this is a letter that was written by the CEO, Okay, an, an annual letter. And we go down and he starts to talk about the NASDAQ, which is what's been going on in the news at the moment. Uh, they've actually filed to be presented to the NASDAQ and uh, they could be any minute. They could be any minute. We don't know. Uh, it could be during the month of February. Well, at least we're hoping it's during the February. Uh, they could be listed on the NASDAQ. OK, but that, again, that's still to be uh, um, approved and registered. So we, that's the catalyst, that's the next catalyst for this company. So we have to make sure that we have our eyes peeled for this one. So the most recent information, and in fact, is the close was happened on the close and there was a drop on the uh, stock, uh, on, the, on the price. And the reason for that is Alpine 4 Technologies price is a uh, 50 million registered direct offering okay of uh well actually a, a purchase price of six dollars so at the time of doing that it was eight eight dollars so in fact what happened that's an undercut so actually brought the price down it was actually trading at higher than that price so uh, I, I would imagine this is the part of the reason why the price had dropped uh, recently so again here some good news so the alpine 4 holden says the quality circuit assembly of subsidiary has received an initial one million dollars uh, in new orders for uh, the first quarter and the second quarter so again this is good news moving forward guys okay as they say always leave the best to last um finally uh, according to this document here uh, written by a private investor called uh, Heath White. Uh, Kathy Wood Arc funds are standing up a, uh, a space focused ETF called Arc X. I'm sure you've all heard about that. Uh, the new ETF's mandate includes drones, and it is reasonable to hope that they will invest in Alpine. Okay, in fact, Alpine will be one of the few publicly traded companies in the drone space. Attention from the Arc funds would itself be positive for this stock. Okay, so let's combine this, what we're seeing here, a possibility of this, plus being put on the NASDAQ in the very near future would cause prices of uh, um, Alpine to go pretty high. I, I I like what um, Heath White has said in this document because uh, I love what he's gone on to say. He's given two scenarios, and I love these two scenarios. He says if the market stays bullish, bullish, in other words, if the uplisting of Nasdaq is a success, it will go up. And then uh, obviously, if there's no, it doesn't go into the Nasdaq, and it never goes on to um, <laughs> being as part of the Ark Invest X in, uh, ETF. Uh, it could be a disaster. So those are the two catalysts. So we have the NASDAQ really uh, and the ARCX. Okay, so that's the sort of the two things that people are going to be looking out for. So um, yeah, so it's a make or break uh, and I have a good feeling that it could be a good break. So uh, let's keep our fingers crossed for that one. So guys, this wraps up this video. Um, 
If you're interested, uh, you want to see more about this uh, this company, you want to do a bit more investigation, they do have videos on the website, uh, so you can go in and have a look. Uh, a lot of good information there to go through. Uh, remember, guys, uh, I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm not giving you any advice. Uh, I'll give you my point of view. I'm actually invested in this company. Uh, I have recently added shares, as I mentioned at the beginning, and probably be adding in uh, uh, shortly once again. The company is good. Uh, I like the company. Uh, again, it has its risks. So please make sure you, when you're looking to invest, that you are uh, analyzing those risks. Okay, so uh, so yeah. Guys, don't forget, like this video. If you've uh, liked the video and you want to see more videos like this, uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button because that really helps my channel. Thank you, guys, and I'll uh, speak to you soon.